Hi, I'm Katie Castillo, and I am at the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. And I'm going to be showing you a painting by Tom Utech, and it's hard to pronounce, but it translates to Hope of Good Things to Come. So here is the beautiful painting, and again, I'll try to pronounce it, but I know I'm going to butcher it. <laughs> it is Inasamishinwayan, and it is a contemporary art piece painted in 2009. Um, it is an oil-on-canvas painting. It is huge. It is life-size. It actually sits at a staggering 103 by 112 inches. It really kind of makes you feel like you could just climb into it. I, I feel like it just adds the realisticness of the painting. Um, and it is, is painted by the talented Tom Utech, who is an American painter born and raised in Wisconsin in the Northwoods. Um, what I really admire most about this painting is that the process that Utech goes through to create it. He was inspired to paint this piece on one of his frequent trips to Quetico Provincial Park in Ontario, Canada. Here what he does is searches the surroundings and takes everything in. He notices every little detail around him. And when he returns back to his studio, he uses only his memory. He sits down and stares at his blank canvas and recreates that same peaceful place. Um, the title was actually inspired by the local Indian tribe. Um, the painting represents peace and tranquility. I think that Utec's purpose was to unveil the natural and organic beauty of the great outdoors and kind of restore that, um, you know, just that appreciation for the outdoors that we take for granted these days. There are several artistic techniques that Utec used to make this painting really come alive when you observe it. Utec uses a mixture of warm and cool colors to express the calm setting along with the excitement of all the different species of birds. Utec does a great job of showing atmospheric perspective with the color hue and the circular patterns around the setting sun. The sunset is the focal point of the painting. With the vibrant colors that the sunset possesses, it immediately draws my eye to the center, making that sunset the focal point. Utec also uses linear perspective to make the sunset appear far away from us, beyond the horizon. The dark earthy colors in the painting, along with the absence of leaves on a few of the trees, shows that it must be a cool autumn day. The figures in the painting are also very significant. This painting has many different species of birds flocking above the horizon to far below it. If you look closely, you will notice in flight while the other animals are sitting still, fixed in one spot and observing the majestic horizon. There's everything from geese to ducks to hummingbirds. Um, there's also a vast number of bugs spread all across the painting, leading me to believe that along with the birds, there must also be a massive population of bugs that inhabit the area. There's everything from mosquitoes to gnats to even butterflies and moths. Um, also, one of the most important creatures in the painting is this bear sitting over there. The bear is sitting there, kind of human-like. It is it's supposed to represent a sit-in for Tom or for us. And actually, up until recently, on one of my recent trips to Crystal Bridges observing this painting, um, a man told me that actually what he's looking at is a bear right there. Which I thought was pretty neat. bear is actually looking at another bear, right here. The animals in this painting bring a sense of power to the life on earth and kind of bring power to the animal kingdom. They bring human emotion to the animal kingdom. Um, I actually have a quote from the director of Crystal Bridges Museum, Don Bacalupi, and he said that he loves the balance Utec strikes between na a natural view of the scene and a completely stylized, imaginary, magical evocation of a landscape. I love that quote, so I wanted to put that in there. Um, there is a heavy influence of the naturalistic perspective in this painting, because everything seems so real and closely resembles what the scene would look like and what the animals would really look like. Um, I love that the scene looks so organically enchanting and untouched by humans. And um, you can also see some classical influences in this painting, like the geometric grid. He carefully places all the animals in a perfect position along with the line of the horizon. Um, Utec's method of filling up every inch of the painting was also a technique that Hieronymus Bosch would use. 
The painting I chose from our textbook um, to compare with Utex painting is a painting done by Anna Mary Robertson Moses, and it is called The Old Checkered House, painted in 1944. The reason I chose this painting is because they have several similarities and several differences. The two paintings are similar in that they are both 20th century contemporary art paintings. They also use oil paint and illustrate a beautiful scenery, with some of the figures being active in motion and others remaining still. Both paintings are also um, showing linear and aerial perspective. In Anna's, it's the mountains that appear far away. In Utex, it was the sunset that we talked about earlier that appeared out in the distance. Um, there's also several differences in the painting as well. In Utex, it shows unharmed nature with no humans around. In this painting, it shows more contrast in the colors used in the paintings. In Utex, it has more earthy colors that you would see in nature. In Anna's painting, there's much more brilliant color in the reds, the yellows, and the bright greens. There's also a checkered pattern on the house that catches your eye. This shows her past with embroidery because Anna Mary was actually primarily worked in embroidery until she was 70, and then she turned to folk art. The reason I chose this painting is because it's the only one that really jumped out at me. I don't know, it just kind of spoke to me. It, um, I just, I love the colors and I love how realistic the scenery looked. When I look at this painting, I feel a sense of peace. I feel like I'm there observing the birds and all the animals in their natural habitat. It's just, it's peaceful. It's almost like I'm in the painting. I can almost hear the birds chirping and flying over me. I can almost hear the sound of the wind through the trees. I chose this painting because it gives me a calming feeling that momentarily frees all of my stresses.